Hello. I'm a reaction channel now. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And um, I've had a little frustration this morning trying to make this video because I downloaded a piece of software, uh, open broadcaster software, to actually make this video and uh, found out that it is not it's not compatible with the newest version of iOS Catalina, which I happened to download this morning. Uh, so it just won't open and it keeps crashing. So we are making this uh, reaction video kind of jankily uh, But hope you enjoy it anyway So uh, a few months ago a few months ago, maybe a couple months ago I asked you guys if you wanted me to make a reaction to my first ever upload on the channel Which is unlisted. It's hard to find <laughs> because it's bad and uh, I think that I'm gonna do that this morning and I think you all will enjoy it. I Hope you'll enjoy it. I'm making this with my webcam. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit in the dark um, but I mean, you guys can see my face, can't you? I don't know. Uh, and I just wanna see what my content was like. Let's see, I'm looking at it, it's five years ago. So this was made when I was living in a little apartment. Uh, it was like 420 square feet. I made it with my iPhone 5S, I think, which the camera has like a weird fisheye thing going on. This is before like there were cameras were like super HD on iPhones and it's janky and there was no clover and there was i had a cat named paddington <laughs> who was how old was he at the time he must have been 14 years old at the time so uh this is a different life and it was when i was still um straightening my hair with uh with relaxers so i was relaxing the curls so my hair looks different it's a mess uh let's get into this i'm afraid you guys i don't want to do this reaction <laughs> But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it and we're gonna watch it. So let's go ahead and click on uh, The video is called loving your lease organizing solutions for renters So let's get that going right now Hey guys, it's Kay from hubby organizing um, I hope you guys are all staying warm. It's super winter storming out here and it's like another winter storm really anyway, so um I'm here to talk about living in a rental. Okay, first of all, I know the music is so loud in the video, but I edited my music. I edited it with my iPhone at the time using like, I guess the, maybe it was even like the YouTube editor. It wasn't even like iMovie. It was like the YouTube app editor that they, I, th I don't think they have that anymore, um, but it was horrible. And so the music is super loud as you can see through the whole video. Apologies property and staying organized in a place that you don't own. Um, so living in a rental property can create some challenges, uh, especially since you can't put in a lot of custom shelving, you can't change the floors, you can't change the faucets, you can't change the cabinets. Um, so that presents some organizational challenges, especially when it comes to vertical storage on the walls. Um, a lot of you don't want to damage the walls, especially uh, the paint, because uh, you have to repair that when you move out. So I'm going to give you guys some tips so that you can make the most of your rental space and put a little bit of your personal touch on the space so that you can love your lease. Now, personally, I don't like to put holes in the wall where I lease a place. I just don't. I, I still don't like to put holes in the wall even if it's the place that I own. <laughs> like, I get so much anxiety about putting holes in walls like you don't even know. Like, when I installed that alpha shelving for my plants, I was like, high anxiety about putting holes in the wall even though i own the place it's really it's crazy but like i still don't like to buy. i'm still like man hook queen i know that you can do that you know you have your drill you can hang up pictures and uh mirrors look how janky like look how the iphone really like it uh, gets all crazy when you move around that that's the old iphone camera so, it's janky the house that's why i love command hooks and i have a whole box that i keep uh, just put on I still have that box, you guys. <laughs> Look, that's it with the label and everything. Hooks and command hooks are I really love great that box. Command that hook box. Makes, and they're basically um, hooks that are safe for your wall. There's a hook there. You can see it. Um, they make it in a lot of different sizes and a lot of different functions. This one is just their basic hook. And what's great about it is the back comes off. This is the back. Um, and the little hook comes with an adhesive tape. Um, that adhesive will not damage your walls. 
if you use it properly. So the back has a wall side, you can see there. Okay, that's not true. I mean, okay, I think I did say if, if you use it properly, but even if you do use it properly, there is a chance you will pull some of the paint off of your wall, especially if you have matte paint. So I always like to give the full 100, you know? I think I did here, actually. Let's see, let's see what I said. It also has a side that goes on the back of the command hook. So what you do is you yeah. pull the back off of the strip, place it on the back of the command hook. You probably want to put the hook back on first. Um, and then you put the uh, wall side on the wall. And what I like to do is I like to hold it down for like 30 seconds to really get that adhesive um, attached to the wall. And then leave it for an hour or more if you can. I like to leave mine for 24 I still do hours. that. So it really bonds to the wall. And after that, you can hang from it. So you can hang pictures. I hang uh, all my clocks in my house with command hooks. And you can even use the command All right, let me tell you something about the clocks. I used to have like an obsession with like having clocks with faces in every room. Like not digital clocks. I wasn't down with that. I used to have to have a clock with a face in every single room so I would know what time it is in every room, like bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen, everybody, every room had to have a clock in it. Um, I don't know if I'm still there, but like I was totally like that for years. I was like, yo, every room's gotta have a clock. I'm Flava Flav, I don't know. And strips to hang art, I hung some empty, Oh, look at those um, frames. Just frames two empty frames, just two empty frames on the wall. That's how I decorated back in the day. Um, I only have two right now, but I'm collecting a lot more. I'm going to get a lot more and make sort of an art piece. Um, you can do a lot of things with command hooks, and I really love this product. You can get them at the container store, or you can get them. I've even seen them at CVS or any drugstore. They're a really great product. There's a lot of different. Um, Hashtag not sponsored. Command hooks you can get. There's, this is like a utility hook that you can like hang your broom off of. Um, this is like oh the cord bundler we love her she's a real mvp this way you can control a bunch of cable cords um in that way and then when you're ready to um, take the command hook off the wall you can remove the hook completely um and then you want to pull down on this tab and what happens when you do that is the hook the little adhesive part comes off three minutes and 20 seconds into the video and all i've talked about is command hooks okay but it won't damage your walls. It's a really great product. I, it's a genius product. You can even get um, a sort of fancier command hook. This is like the uh, brush nickel version, and they all have this um, thing on the back where the hook actually comes oh. off, if I'm smart enough. There we go, the hook actually comes off. So you can take the hook portion off of the plastic when you're ready to remove the hook. So these are really great product and I recommend these for renters. They're especially great for dorm rooms where you definitely can't put holes in the wall. They don't want you to put holes in the wall. I know you did that when you were younger. Um, but command hooks are a renter's best friend and I have a whole box full of them. The other hooks that are really good for renters are, um, I'm trying to figure out the camera angle here. Who did I think I was, like, getting all off track? Like, I thought I was, like, a Jenna Marbles or something? Like, I, oh, I could just stop talking about the subject because people care about me. No one cares about you when you're putting your first YouTube video up. Just keep talking about the subject. Play. Like, oh, cat! Like off center. And I dropped my other Look at Paddington! Uh, Look at really Paddington back there! How cute is that? He's so cute! I miss Paddington. He was the best. I had him until he was 16. He was the greatest orange cat ever. Hers are um, over the door hooks or over the cabinet hooks. These are really great, especially since I don't like putting holes in the wall. I just don't like doing it. Can you see my cat in the background, by the way? He's like totally Paddington. taking over my video. He's like so cute. Anyway, so let's talk about some over the door hooks. I can show you some of mine. I'm sorry, it's so dark over Still here. Still have that. Here you can see I have these adorable um, over Birdie the door hooks. hooks. And as you can see, they're not hooked into the wall, they just go over the door. So I can open up the closet a little bit and show you what happens on the other side. So they're just supported on the other side by some little hooks, clips there. 
and uh, they make a really great storage space for coats and things like that, and they're super cute. They're made by Umbra. Of course. At the computer store. Here is an over-the-cabinet rod um, used to hold this hand towel in my bathroom. Um, I didn't want to install a new... Um, I'm looking at that rod right now. <laughs> I think I've cleaned it up since then, but I still have that. I still have it. I still use it. It's great. Thumbs up. I tell them because again, I don't like putting um, things in the wall. But this is really cool. It holds just one hand towel and doesn't obstruct anything. Um, and that's really handy because this situation wasn't looking so fabulous. Um, so oh, yeah. I my Why was that? Towel. That was in my old apartment. I had like a towel bar right over the sink cabinet. Didn't make any sense. Old buildings. Then another over the door um, rod to hold the towels. This is really great. I got this from the, the container, container store. store. Um, as you can see, it goes over the door and is not obstructive. And just those little two um, tabs hold the um, rack up. It's really cool. Another great use of space without damaging any of your um, apartment fixtures is uh, putting drawers inside cabinets. Um, I love those drawers where you can actually put them uh, install them into the bottom and pull them out, uh, but I can't do that because I live in a rental property. Um, instead, I just have these drawers with my stuff in them in the bathroom, and they just work really well. They keep everything under control. I've got some of my hair products, as you can see there, um, and in here I just have some more cosmetic products in my hair dryer that I never ever use. I don't even know why I have one. I've uh, got some sort of feminine items in here and medicines in here. Um, so it just keeps things corralled and it uses a lot more of the vertical space so that you're not wasting space in this medicine cabinet, uh, not some medicine cabinet, but under cabinet um, area for your bathroom sink. So I just have some uh, storage here. Uh, this is just my body products and extra makeup and my first aid kit and also um, some extra toilet paper. Everybody has to have a little extra toilet paper. If you don't have an extra roll, you're in real trouble. Another great way to customize your space. <laughs> if you don't have an extra roll, you're in real trouble. I mean, are you though? Is it that dramatic? I don't think so. And sort of make it your own when you rent the space is to replace some of the knobs on the kitchen cabinet doors. Um, as you can see, I've replaced this one. It's a really cute um, pansy. Why won't you focus? Um, so I've also replaced the ones on the drawers. Oh my God. This you guys, I was so happy about these anthropology knobs like I was I thought I felt like I was design sponge or somebody I, I was like I am the most awesome apartment designer in the world because I have these custom anthropology knobs I still have those knobs uh, they're in a box somewhere I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I have I mean I really should put them on something else but uh, you know, I'm, I'm saving them till I have the perfect opportunity to use them again. I won't use them again in the kitchen because in our next kitchen actually won't have knobs, which I'm still coming to terms with a little bit. It's one of those like European push door thing situations. I don't know, we'll see how it works out, but I was very proud of these knobs. Super proud, super happy. It's a really adorable little bird. I got these from Anthropology. They were probably only about $3, they're on sale. Here's a little blue one that's super cute, and there's another one that's kind of scrolly and super cute. Um, so you can do this in any cabinet that you can replace the handle. Um, you definitely want to save the handles and replace them back when you leave the apartment um, so that uh, you can take them with you to your next space. So I love clothes. Love them. Love clothes. This is my bedroom. It had nary a closet. No closet. So this is my pride and joy. This is my freestanding alpha closet. It's really fantastic. So if you live in a rental, this, and you have a lot of clothes, like myself, <laughs> this is the answer for you. As you can see, I live in my walk-in closet. Um, there's not much going on in my bedroom besides my closet and my bed. It's, it pretty much takes over the entire room, but I love it. Um, this is- Oh, I used to have so many more clothes, like, Wow. The, but the, you guys, the freestanding alpha has been with me for so long. That thing has been in five or six spaces or something. And it's, 
It's pretty bomb. It's pretty bomb. I mean, it's a, like a really expensive one-time investment or whatever you yeah, add pieces, but like, of, you see how long I've had it. That's I, I had had that thing for years before I shot this video. So shout out, shout out to the Container Store Alpha System. It's a custom, uh, freestanding Alpha closet from the Container Store. Um, it's got storage for shoes here at the bottom. I can't believe I didn't close this down here. I'm sorry, it's dark over here. Um, it's got some drawers for, you know, my... Um, Look at all that stuff. Like, I don't wear all that stuff. I have so, I have so many clothes. I'm, I'm working on downsizing it even more from where it is now. It's just, it's out of control. I can't handle it. I, I, need, I need less stuff shirts and stuff and whatever my skivvies are there you can't look at those um i've got you know hanging for um my short clothes and some shoe storage over here too i've got lots of boots um and here are all of my um dresses most of them are from anthropology i own a lot of them i think i might have you know i'm not even gonna tell you guys how many i have it's, just, it's a lot um but then i you know up above i have some storage for you know out of season and things like that so this is really making use of the space this is the bedroom and it did not have a closet so this is the situation i love this so much more than if i had a closet because i'm living in my closet i love it your closet doesn't have to be this expensive. There are some cheaper versions, um, especially at Ikea or some other places where there are freestanding closets you can buy um, so that you can do what, what works for you, whatever you can afford. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you found some of my tips helpful um, and that you liked this video. If you do, um, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and uh, my blog is stylishsoprano.com, and I'm also at hubneat.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all those things. Um, so I hope to see you guys next week with some more tips. Bye, stay organized. Okay, wow. Um, you know what? The video is while, while bad. The video while bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, of course, there's no clover in the video. That's unfortunate. And um, the iPhone 5S camera, terrible. But you know, here, here's the takeaway message, I think. If you guys want to start a YouTube channel and you don't know what to do, you, you got janky stuff, just use your janky stuff. I'm using janky stuff today. Um, but use whatever you got. That video has 351 views. Like, that's, it's, it's not a lot. But I put it up and people watched it. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's hard to find no unlisted. Maybe I'll put it down in the description. Please don't be mean. That's Baby K. Don't, don't be mean to Baby K. Anyway, uh, you guys want to see Clover? He was barking earlier this morning. All right, here he is. He probably wants to play after that. That was your that was your big big brother uh, Paddington. Did you like you would you would have liked him, right? No, probably not. He's kind of afraid of cats a little bit. He had a bad situation last year. <laughs> we got cornered. We won't talk about it. All right, you guys. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening wherever you are. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stop the tape. Stop the tape.